We are back, and you know with who we are. Hello, <laughs> the fish. I'm also called the Kuda sometimes. The Kuda. <laughs> and corn, who could also be called vegetable. Vegetable. Isn't corn a vegetable? No, I don't know. I think it's a grain. Whatever. But on this, a food episode. What do you guys think, or actually, I can't be talking to you. You guys never chime in anymore. But, uh, El Mais, what do you think about Peruvian food? You know, to be honest, I've only had it once. I don't know much about it. I've discovered a Peruvian restaurant in Long Beach. I forget the name. I could set it up. But I was uh, recently up there. There's this one dish. I mean, you could probably... Uh, it's a chicken dish called ahi the gamba or something like that. Mm-hmm. What's that translate to be? Uh, ahi, what's A-J-I? Or whatever. No but basically, idea. it's a chicken breast that uh, was probably marinated, cooked up, and then it was shredded, and it had this like walnut, um, kind of br- light brown sauce to it that was like crack on chicken. Yeah. So what they serve with it? Um, it was on top of rice, you know, because it was on shredded. Rice. Okay. But they also have a horchata thing that's kind of like made with like blue corn or something like that. Fucking good too. And um, horchata made with corn. Yeah. That sounds interesting. Yeah, it was fucking pretty good. What's up with the Peruvians? I mean, I have no idea, dude. They, I know they eat. Uh, what's that shit called? The uh, llama and uh, guinea, guinea pig. pig. Did you eat llama and guinea pig? Yeah. I'd have no problem with llama or guinea pig. What kind of sauce would you like on that? I don't know, dude. I'd eat it with ketchup. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> I have no problem. I, I am comfortable being the apex predator. I have no problem eating other animals. I don't see the problem with it. I, I just... To justify Cecil's death, the lion... Would I eat the lion? Would you eat the lion? Hells Yeah. It would have been a justified kill. You out there, let me ask you, our viewers, what do you think? Would would it be a justified... Look, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter to the animal whether you eat it or put its head on the wall or just burn the carcass. It doesn't matter. The animal is dead. dead. Okay? So you can make up any excuse you want in your head to feel okay with what you've done. All right? But at the end of the day, you killed the animal. What would you prefer? What would you prefer? Maybe I inject back on the food thing. If mm-hmm. Cecil had a steak, the Cecil steak, would you go A1, Worcestershire? Would you want it um, brisket style, slow cooked? Or would you take it as a steak, salt and pepper, grilled? Grilled. So you can taste the meat? With uh, just uh, salt and pepper and a side of. Garbanzo beans and uh, Chianti. No. <laughs> Worcestershire and just a dash of, um, what do you call it, uh, ketchup. Ketchup. For dipping sauce in case the flavor is not something that I can palate. Really? But you can eat anything. Yeah. Well, the, the, there is that food that you're just going, eh, I'm not so crazy about the, the, the flavor, but, you know. Have you ever had anything like bear or anything? No. People do eat no. bear meat. Yeah, yeah, I've heard bear and, you know, all it's that It's probably stuff. gamey as fuck. I, I've had deer. Uh, I've had deer. I've had moose. I've never had anything else. No, I've had r- rabbit, but that wasn't wild. That was just you know farmed rabbit. Uh, I've had a horse. That's kind of good and stringy, but it's good. Yeah, people like horse. Yeah. But let's see. I've never had snake. Uh, I've had uh, frog legs. Those are good. They say snake is gamey chicken. Gamey chicken. Ooh, I don't know about that. Uh, I wouldn't want gamey chicken. Yeah, gamey chicken sounds it's just awful. I've eaten kangaroo. Yeah, I think we everybody in Southern California that was present between 88 and 93 ate kangaroo at some point. Oh, well, what was serving Oh, that? don't you remember there was this big brouhaha about fucking fast food joints serving kangaroo meat? Oh, jeez. Yeah, it was... I remember the, the news stories back in the 80s and 90s. And, it's yeah. probably in and out wasn't it? I don't know what it was, but it, it was kangaroo meat in a fast food burger. And I just thought, hmm. It's probably in and out That's where their claim to fame came from. What? The, was the kangaroo meat patty. 
the like oh, the late 80s. They were started in the 50s by a Christian couple and they came together. I mean, they became popular because of the kangaroo meat patty. You're kidding me. No, this is for viewership. <laughs> they are, there's, there's in and out. This is for viewership. <laughs> in and out serve kangaroo meat. Mm. They no, probably still do. This. I think it was Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box came to fame too. That's when Jack. I look. Came I clearly back. remember a story in the eighties or nineties about kangaroo meat being fed to people through fast food restaurants. I don't know which one it was, but I know it was there. I didn't make this shit up. But that being said, I'm okay with it. I really am. You know how make people made such a big deal about the pink slurry stuff? The, oh, um... The, the ammonium nitrate treated uh, chicken processed nice. meat, meat that looked like this pink toothpaste when it's extruded from the uh, extruder. Yeah. And they you know made such a big deal about it. Oh, it's disgusting, blah, 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 blah. I don't know, man. I, 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 I have no problem eating that. Yeah, faux meat's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's just protein, dude. Suck it up. You know, I have no problem eating fish cake either. I have no problem eating, you know, insects. I kind of like insects, to be honest. Uh, like I said, I have no problem being the apex predator. I, you, you, all you people that get all mealy mouth about animals need to fucking grow up. But hey, but um, what else about the food thing? We have talked about so many things about food, but um, this is a new tripe. one. Tripe. Tripe. Oh, I survived on tripe for one summer. I love tripe. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fried, boiled. Uh, yeah, I just love it. I love the taste of it. Especially when it's deep fried and all, you know, the crunched up a little bit and you have that little... The honeycomb. The, yeah, the honeycomb. It's just, oh, man. I love that shit. In pho, I love that. Oh, that's right. Pho. Yeah. I, I love, love pho. We should start a pho joint. Oh, pho is so easy. It's so easy and so good, but I don't know, man. The, the, so many there's of a them. glut of them now, you know, and they're mostly oh. good. Dude, last week, my mother and my girlfriend, we went in that new place, the one that used to be that Chinese or whatever place on uh, South Broadway. The new one, it's big, by B&D. Mm. Dude, it smelled good. We walk in there. It was one of those hot days when it was stormy and rainy. Mm -hmm. It was like 85 degrees. It's muggy, like, yeah. We go in there, these cheap fucking cheap skates are, are, uh, have these fans going, but it's probably about 99 degrees in there. It was one of those restaurants where, well, we come back probably in the winter when it was so fucking hot. I was getting like that kind of like the wave of like dizziness. When you're like, Why didn't it oh. turn on the AC? We asked them. They said, uh... The, you can sit over there and it's cooler. And I said... So it's probably not working or they're too cheap to put it on. Yeah. And I'm telling you, it smelled good and it looked good. But I, I turned around and I was thinking, Damn, you guys want to do this so fucking hot. I kind of wanted to come here uh, to out to eat uh -huh. to get, you know... It's to get like, in the AC. To yeah, get in the yeah. AC. You pay for that shit. Yeah. And I said, the people said, do it on. And we can try this later. <laughs> okay, it was hot. You know what I do when I want to go to the AC? Go bowling. That's where they fucking blast that shit. Yep, it's a, like a goddamn refrigerator in there, and you can drink. That's right. But it's not all, you know, sketchy, creepy drinking like in a bar. It's just, you know, daytime drinking, watching sports, and throwing balls. It's kind of easy. I'm yeah. telling you, this world has come to fucking, I don't know. I mean, these people should have paid for it because... It smelled good. They were investing it, but they were just cheaping out. What the, where are we at? We're at nine minutes here. That's it, man. Stay in school, motherfuckers. Stay in school because we're back now. Get the fuck in your classroom instead of watching. Ah, no, watch us and then go to school. Or watch us on your smartphone and tell your teacher about us. <laughs> no, 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 no.